Hey guys, welcome back. So my name is Monica, um, also known as Moni. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this reactive drawstring family tote that I picked up at a local boutique. This is a new to me style. I've never owned one before, but I'm excited to have one because a lot of people do like them and a lot of people do utilize them, you know, to go on their trips to the beach. Um, we do live near a beach, so we do frequent the island pretty um, like often, especially in the summertime. Luckily, in my climate, my area, we've even gone into November and December and it's comfortable, so um, I figured this would be the perfect piece to buy. I've never really, not that I've never really needed, but I've never really like wanted to buy this piece. It doesn't necessarily like, it's not a style that I'm like, oh, I need that or oh, that would be perfect for the beach, you know, so, but I wanted to try it out and I felt like the best pattern to purchase this bag and try it out in would be this style right here. So this is the Vera Bradley and Disney collaboration. Um, Ariel Floral is the name of, no, yeah, Ariel Floral Ditsy is the name of this pattern. Um, this fabrication is also reactive yes reactive it is not cotton so this is water repellent so it actually is perfect to take to the beach to keep poolside and all of that stuff so it is a pretty large tote it's a tote style bag except the closure is not a zipper or it's not a magnet it's a drawstring closure which is in the name of the bag so the way this closes is you have a mesh compartment here and it's the span of the bag and you also have this little knot there of fabric and it you know it's sewn in all the way around and the way you would close this or I would assume you would fill it up with stuff right <laughs> and then you would just cinch it closed just like so so you can see that it's pretty big um, I've never used it so I can't speak on how functional it is and if it keeps your things from falling out once it's cinched up but um, I know a lot of people do like this style. So features of the bag, you do have like a 12 inch strap drop and it is this nylon um, soft shiny strap. The interior, oh sorry, we're not even done with the exterior. The exterior of the bag has one zip compartment. Smooth zippers and they're your typical um, reactive zippers. If y'all are familiar with um, the reactive zippers, it's like a chunky zipper, but it's not scratchy. It's really smooth. Almost like a plastic zipper. That's what the inside of the pocket looks like. So you don't get pattern on this side of the pocket, but you do on the back side. Oops. Okay. So inside you do not have any sort of organization whatsoever um, there is this little detail here that you can see I when I was in the store because I picked this up at a local boutique um, when I was in the store I did want to make sure that I even had good placement on this little piece here um, this isn't a zipper pouch or anything like that what this fabric is is you get a hidden top pocket here so that is this compartment so I got a little flounder there but that way I can show you guys what the pattern looks like again this is aerial floral ditzy um, let me move these straps out of the way and get up close so it is a vibrant turquoise color you have some um, purple accents in there with some pink and then you have like flounder and Sebastian and other little sea life um, friends from the movie The Little Mermaid. This is what the back looks like. So that's it y'all. This is a short video. Um, can't really speak much on you know if I like it. I mean obviously I picked it up because I wanted to tr hopefully you know try it out and I feel like I'm gonna like this bag because I feel like it, it is perfect for the beach um, but like I mentioned before it's a style that I never was like I need that or like I need that that's perfect for the beach has always been like oh that's nice you know but I figured I would give it a try in this pattern so if you guys love yours um, let me know what your thoughts are on it um, I would love to read them so thank you guys for tuning in and I hope to see you guys on the next one bye